May 18th is inching closer. That's the day some businesses reopen in St. Louis City and County. But for gyms, doors will be kept locked a bit longer. Our Justina Cornell learns about a new effort that's trying to get gyms back up and running. House of Pain in Chesterfield and Maryland Heights have a tight grip on operations. The owner of the gym, he's not backing down. Representative Dottie Bailey supports their stand. They plan to continue. Despite getting a cease and desist letter from St. Louis County, a stay at home orders are still in place. This is his livelihood. It's how he pays his bills and feeds his family. I respect that a lot. St. Louis City and County rolled out a plan to reopen some businesses on May 18th, but gyms didn't make the cut. County Executive Sam Page says the regulations are because of how contagious COVID-19 is, especially in the businesses they say are high risk. Representative Bailey says gyms should open. Our state orders were we open up May 4th. We have got to strike a balance for people to be able to go and do things like this. John Farkas, owner of Blue Ocean Fitness in Chesterfield, thought gyms would be a part of that reopening list. I was looking forward to reopening on the 18th and after seeing that announcement, you know, that was when I decided, okay, it's time to take action. That's when Farkas decided to take his efforts online and create a petition on change.org, hoping that gyms can open up their doors sooner than later. In 24 hours, we had over a thousand signatures. Farkas believes gyms are essential. Exercise benefiting physical and mental health. Our clients really need us and for us, it's more than the economics. He tells Five on Your Side he hopes things can work out and they can step in the right direction. I don't look at this as an us versus them thing. You know, I want to work with Sam Page and, and with his office so that we can figure out a plan together. We believe that we can do this and we can provide a safe and clean environment. Justina Cornell, five on your side. We reached out to the county about the cease and desist letter to House of Pain. They said they do not comment on litigation matters, but in the past they have said they can pursue legal action.